Heather's daughter, and trying to get Champ and Winston to cooperate for a video is impossible, so I guess this will have to do. If you don't know the story, I got my mom these pillows this past Christmas of their pictures. Um, I wanted to say a happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers out there, and also the fur baby moms as well um we wanted to say a happy mother's day to our mom heather um i can't imagine life without her she is an amazing woman she has pushed me to do so many things in life and i just can't thank her enough um so it makes me happy when i see all of you supporting her leaving really nice comments, liking her videos. I know it makes her happy, it makes me happy, um, and we really appreciate all of you. I hope you all have a great Mother's Day, and thank you guys. Hi guys, it's Heather and Michaela, and today we're taking you guys along with us on our very special mother and daughter dive for Mother's Day weekend. This is Michaela's first time joining me, and I'm really excited because it's fun to not always do this by myself. So with that said, today we're gonna hit three different towns, um, some Bed Bath & Beyonds and Burlington's and Pet Smarts, so much stuff. So we're really excited and hopefully we'll find some good stuff, guys. Let's see what we find. Guys, let's check the first dumpster of the day. Carving set. That's cool. Oh. oh, explore. I know, it's okay. Oh. Take this, Michaela. You can reach that, okay? All right. I think I'm gonna... Can you, can you grab it? Okay, hold this. We're gonna look under this basket.
It says red baskets on it. Yeah. A lot of broken glass, so that's... I don't want to cut myself. Hmm. Well, that looks like it's about it. Are you sure? That's all right. Yeah, there's... I don't know if I should take this one. And it looks brand new. I guess we'll take it. I'm sure someone can use it. And then the carving set. So we'll and then take that it. too, right? Oh yeah, nice. Yep. So there was this, this cute little thing and then the explore. But we can fix that. How cool is that? Alright, cool. Let's go check out the next spot. I just peeked in here, but look at it. Can you hold this with your arm for me? Look at all of these things for the kids' chair. Back. Nothing? No, she didn't find nothing. Okay, that's enough filming me. <laughs> yep, here's some here. You got it going? Thank you. Here, I got a couple more here. You are the best. No problem. Here's some barbecue. Awesome. All right. God bless you all. And then there's Bye. one more if you want here. Why not? <laughs> here Thank you go. You. Have a wonderful night. Yeah, you too, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.
yesterday. ourselves because I already did that yesterday. Thanks so much for joining us, uh, mother-daughter, first dive together. Um, that was fun. Even though we we went out for almost three hours, we didn't score as much as um, I normally would, but um, we did find some good stuff. So just to make the video a little bit longer, I did add in some other clips um, this past week's um, finds, dumpster finds. So... But let's begin here. So can you believe this? All of these little chair back buddies. Look at how nice these are. And um, just what what waste. There were so many of these too. So I'm going to find somewhere to donate these. Um, there were quite a bit of them. And there's still a bunch more in my car. Um, so yeah, that was pretty cool. And that dumpster is always locked. It is never, ever, 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 it's never been unlocked. And that was the first time that it was unlocked. So um, I was like, nice. And then we found all those books um, as well. Oh, there goes Champy. Um, we found all those books. So those are all in my truck. And uh, wherever we donate um, these, we'll donate the books too. Um, my last video, I forgot to show you guys this. Look how cute this little uh, cat bed is. It's all crinkly, and then they can go in there, and it has a little, a little toy. Um, and for those of you that have been following me, you know my little cat stuff I find. It always, I uh, send it to my best friend, Jo Lynn, in Arkansas. Um, I sent her a box um, in March, a big box of cat, some cat toys, so um, her cat's enjoying it. Um, found this one day, this little bird feeding cup and a little uh, leash there. All right, now you guys seen from Michael's, we found this uh, carving thing. This is all the tools that are in there. So I'm like, you know what, that's not bad to have. So I'm gonna probably just keep that. Um, nice to have around with all of the little stuff I'm always finding. And um, that was pretty cool. It did break there, but I'm sure some wood glue um, will fix that. Um, so that was pretty nice. Explore. It's pretty big, too. This little wooden box, you know, you can't have enough of this stuff. So I've been just collecting a bunch of these different finds, especially like from the container store. Um, because, again, when I move um, and I'm going to be revamping, reorganizing and everything, and I'm going to need a lot of that stuff. So um, I love finding that. 
Then that bag you guys seen we got from Five Below. There were these little adorable butterfly clips, a cell phone case, and you know I found some of these um, a while back, and it's just because they get sticky right there where the kind of plastic and uh, kind of melts, peeled the paint off. But they're still usable, so there's two of those and a little of the uh, badminton right there set here. And I don't see anything wrong. It has the two rackets and the little thingies there. So, um, yeah, not a bad little score there. Okay, and then the other day I was just out and about and I stopped at Party City and I scored these two trays. Um, there was a little part broke there. Oh, that one's more damaged than I thought. But, um, yep, yeah, score two of those. And then a bunch of these, uh, they're plastic plates. But they're actually pretty nice. They look almost real when you look at them from a distance. But, yeah, got a stack of those. Um, and then all of these bags of candy. And here's the thing is, these, um, brand new, nothing, uh, not opened. And where is the expiration? So I'm going to show you guys. Um, right here. Let's look. It says October of 2021. And then this other one, I'm pretty sure... This, this is June 2021, and then there was another one that didn't expire until 2022. So, uh, yeah, not sure, but um, there are these, like, cute little gummies. And for those of you who guys remember these, I remember these when I was growing up. The Sweet Tarts, a uh, little sucker. There's a bunch of little mini ones. How cute. I actually scored a ton more of these, but um, when the Blessings Box lady came the other day and picked up all the stuff I gave her a ton of of the bags of these so we just kept a couple because we give them to friends and stuff so yeah that wasn't um, a bad little little find that day um, that little Dollar Tree bag um, most Dollar Trees they lock the dumpsters this particular one wasn't um, so I found a couple of these uh, little bandanas and um, this little tea set which Michaela will give to her to her sister Camila some toothpicks which I needed some uh, we didn't have any and a pair of gloves <laughs> um, that's funny because as you guys know I always need gloves then this little uh, I found that bag at Ulta and look at all of the stuff that Paracone MD you guys know that stuff is expensive this is for acne relief um, purple pore punisher Trying to read pore tightening mask. There's two of those. Detoxifying mud mask. And the Murad, Murad, if I'm saying that right, acne control. You know, that's pricey too. Um, and then two fingernail polish and OPI. Some tweezers. And I found this actually at World Market. Pretty sure that's where I got this. Day cream rosehip oil. And I just took the lid off. And the seal on top is, um, it's still brand new sealed. So, yeah, very fun. All these little cute little finds. And you guys, I am a total dork. I am such a dork. I am so happy for you that commented in the comments on my one video where I, you guys seen I found this instant pot. And it was $100. I looked it up on Bed Bath & Beyond's website. Because um, they, you know, cut the cord. And then you guys were like, oh, the cork could be replaced. And I was like, huh? And then I turned the machine, the Instant Pot around and saw that it unplugged. So <laughs> I'm like, Heather. So thank you guys for letting me know in the comments because I can just replace this cord easily. And I'm going to have a brand new Instant Pot. How awesome is that? Um, so I will get a cord and um, I'm going to decide... If I want to keep this or do I want to sell this on our live auction this um, which is actually going to be today at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time you guys we're gonna have a bunch of boxes and I am gonna be auctioning off individual items I have some individual stuff that doesn't fit in the box so um, stay tuned for that I hope you guys can join us right so here is the rest of everything you guys seen um, got that from World Market 
How cute. I, heard, I just washed him, but he's going to need a little more cleaning. It was $12.99. I'll try and use something else to get that off. But, yeah, Michaela will get that to Camila. Um, and then this lantern it was totally fine. Just the panel of glass came off. It actually wasn't broke. So I'm going to just fix that right up. I have this such a nice collection of these lanterns. I've already found a couple of this exact same one. Um, so this is going to look really nice um, at my new place. And then that uh, little grab bag that was from Michael's. Uh, you guys remember I just found that little paint set of the dogs. Now we have this deer and the paint's in there. And then here is the, the canvas part. Um, and then I guess this is to hang it. So I'm glad I took that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty intricate. But yeah, so now my daughter can do one and I'm going to do one and uh, we'll do them together. And then we'll show you guys when we're finished. Um, found, oh, there was one of the paints. Um, found this picture frame. The glass was missing. In the back, I have to fix that. But the frame is really cute. Some little bags and tags. Oh, the paint brushes that goes with that. Um, this fingernail polish just fell out of the bag. Uh, from the stuff I found from Ulta and the little punch hole right here it's a three inch circle punch looks like it works fine so um, that was pretty nice and uh, this whole roll of lace so not a bad week you guys but I actually have tons more footage I found a lot of stuff this past week so those videos, stay tuned. I'll be posting those throughout the week next week. And uh, this was really fun. Thanks so much for following my daughter and I along on our first dive together. Hopefully she'll do more with me in the future. Um, and I hope to see you guys at our live auction tonight at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Don't forget, I promise you don't want to miss it. And we have a really nice clip following. Have a great day, guys. All right, guys, that was so exciting. And thanks so much for joining us. And happy Mother's Day to all you moms out there and even the mom fur babies. And join us next time for our next video. Also, our live auction, Sunday, 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. You guys don't want to miss that. There is so much stuff up for auction. All right, guys, make sure to hit that subscribe and ring that bell so that you get notified when I upload videos. And don't forget to give a thumbs up. All right, bye. bye.